Hey guys. Okay, that is the recipe for dealing with that. That would be next. First, I'm going to get this empty out. Um, I'm in my metal pan. Uh, my metal Oliver chickens um, lay different color eggs. And she was telling me, I can't remember now, the name of the one that actually lays blue eggs, which is so stinking cool. Did I hit record? Yes, okay. The, that would have been funny. Okay, I need three tablespoons of oil and three quarters of a cup of water. Okay. Put on the uh, olive oil. Olive oil. Uh, oil. Uh, um, not. I have decided. Tablespoon. Yep. To pesto on this, since I have pesto right here. I actually just taste it. And I got this actually from the Historical Society. We had it in our fridge over there. <laughs> and uh, we were cleaning out our fridge at the end of the year. Don't worry, that's good till 2024. But, um, Yeah, oh. All the leavening and everything we're going to do. I'm going to put this in. Set up into 350. That might be helpful. Okay, so I'll get that 350. Um, so I'll put this in. That's the main part of the bread. Come on. Bake. Pour half of the batter and put the you know, put it Okay. You know what I didn't do? I can climb up and get my silicone bread pan. <laughs> Hold on. Okay guys. Do do do. Ouch. 
Um, greasing the pans was my job. What did you get? Uh, as I think I told you before. Um, so uh, it just brings back wonderful memories for me. You know, greasing the pan. Um, yeah, it's kind of chunky here. I may have to take a spoon. with this pan having the ridges and stuff that although <laughs> silicone really doesn't stick I like to grease the ridges because it makes the crumbs come out of the ridges more easily okay, there you go a greased pan This one. Okay. Basically, you get a good layer. Then you put the other half on. cinnamon bread. Then I walked by this and I said, you know what? This is cheaper. And I've made it a million times. I know how to do it. So. Okay. Okay. Pour the mean batter over swirl mix. Spread carefully to cover. Sprinkle remaining. That seems to me to be a lot. I'm back. My neighbor is such a nice man. Thank you, Jerry, for your help. I appreciate it. Okay, that's. I might have to bring him my uh, tree. I know I'm bringing Bob and Chuck in the tree. Shut up. Yeah, well, to update you on what happened when I abruptly shut you up was that 
um, the alarm, the fire alarm, is up there, fell down when I was trying to make it stop. Stop is the key word there. Um, now it's just kind of going beep, beep, beep. Yeah, see, it's sensing something. And it doesn't have to be. I'm afraid when I open the oven, it's going to go off again. Ah! Ah! You annoying thing. Anyway, so that's that. This is the topping for the salmon. Okay, let me get a pan ready for the salmon. Where is my pan? Here it is. Fish oil. What's nice about this is the way it's set up. You can easily use it. Use the leftover sandwiches. Ah! Stupid alarm. Okay. Now, you literally dump this over all. All of the salmon. Make sure you get it on every piece. There we go. Sort of push it around in there and drop this in here. Ugh. Yep. I'm gonna wash my hands. Tim loves this way of It doesn't feel good, you know? See, that's the thing. Is my mother not sure I can say all the time? My mother, stop! Hated salmon. So, she hated it. General. <laughs> I like to hold this. ceviche is? It's when the acids cook the fish. So, I can't really put it in the oven with that. Stop! It will, um, work. Because that's too high a temperature. I'm going to it down by about 50 degrees. Okay, I'll put this away. So, but you've actually seen me make the Prices vary when they are so. I'm not going to worry about it. When you stop? So 
Yeah, I'm not going to put a bunch of um, cheese on that because I'm going to put this pesto on it. This is actually really good for you. Hurry, <laughs> basically. And it's so ground up that it doesn't have just pine nuts in it. But they're so ground up that you probably won't even notice it. So I want that to stop. But anyway, um, I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to pause the video because I do want to show you when this comes out. Stop! Um, what um, <coughs> that's going to look like. You need a bowl for that. Spent the money on these balls. Stop! I'm sure you hear it. Anyway, so I'll see you for that. Okay. Um, ignore the beat. My landlord's gonna come and fix it. This is the spaghetti squash with a little bit of pesto. I didn't go nuts with the pesto because it's strong. And here's the bread. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see inside the box. Well, it didn't really break. Just like, chunk off. There you Just a little chunk. I think Mitch is going to handle this track very well. Going from slow to fast quickly is not one of its strong points I've seen so far. I think Yak definitely overruled here. This is the glaze that I'm going to cut a couple slices for Boston Chucky. It's cool enough to glaze, which yeah, it's cool enough to glaze. You can see that. Let's uh, Um, I'll see you. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. I guess.